Okay, today we're going to talk about troubleshooting a gas furnace that is not heating. So we're troubleshooting this 80% natural gas furnace. I have the safety switch or door switch taped off. I have this thermostat hooked up to the control board. Just going to run through some checks. I'm checking just the blower fan right now. It turns on. Runs fine. Turn that back to auto. Now we'll check it in the heat setting and check for the sequence of operation here. So our draft inducer fan starts. I'm listening for my pilot valve. Our pressure switch should have closed. Yep, pressure switch closed. Using my non-contact voltage tester. Checking the this tube between the draft inducer fan and the pressure switch. Again, checking for power. And what I'm finding is I have voltage going to my gas valve, but the pilot valve does not open and the hot surface igniter does not glow red. I'm going to check the flame sensing rod and hot surface igniter. Inspecting for cracked or broken wires. Yeah, we'll be replacing this flame sensing rod and hot surface igniter. So I'm removing the plug where the hot surface igniter plugs into and checking to see if there's 24 volts. Yeah, nope. So here's a new gas valve. See where everything plugs in, has an on off switch on the top there. We'll remove these plastic caps. Those Allen screws you see on the top of the valve body, they'll remove those Allen screws, put in a barb fitting, and hook up your manometer to check for gas pressures in inches of water column. This also comes with this adapter. So go ahead and break loose the union. Again, the gas is off. The power is off. I'll go ahead and gently unscrew and remove the pilot tube from the gas valve. And then these four hex head screws, remove those. And the manifold comes off with the gas valve. Simply unscrew the gas valve from the manifold and from this pipe. And I'm going to clean up my threads with the wire brush right quick. 
that I'll inspect the orifices on the manifold. A quick side-by-side -side comparison of the old and new gas valve to make sure it's correct. This arrow shows you which way the gas flows. And it's also labeled in. So gas goes in on that side, obviously out on the other side. And make sure you use Teflon tape that is rated for gas pipe. Also apply some pipe dope that is rated for gas pipe. Now we'll reassemble everything. Make sure you have everything clocked in the proper location. You'll see me lift this up and down a time or two to make sure I have all the uh, this length of pipe and the manifold clocked in the proper location so everything lines up when you go to put it back into the furnace. Now we'll reinstall it with those four screws. Again, making sure everything's clocked properly. Be careful when you tighten your screws down that the orifices are seated properly into the burner tubes. You don't want to damage anything there. So just pay attention to that alignment. The gas valve came with the new fitting for the pilot tube. We'll go ahead and install that now. Reconnect our wires. Reconnect our new hot surface igniter and flame sensing rod. To replace this, it simply clip, remove that clip, and the old one comes out, as you see. Here's our new one. And it installs easily. Again, it comes with a new mounting clip that holds it in place. There's a new one. You can see it comes with the plug. You simply plug that plug into the appropriate spot on your new gas valve.
I waited to tighten up this fitting until we had the new hot surface igniter assembly installed. That way we don't kink our pilot tube because it's soft and you can bend it real easy and kink it. So be careful. You don't want to do that. And we'll go ahead and turn on the gas and use soap bubbles to spray all of our connections to make sure there's no leaks anywhere. Now we'll go through the sequence of operation to make sure everything works properly. It's set at 3.5 inches of water column, manifold pressure or outlet side. Everything looks good. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.